Hey everybody, it's Dr. Oob and Aubrey, also known as Oobrey. Hey, we're so, uh, so easy. <laughs> we're talking about detox this month and um, this next topic or next version of detox that we're going to be talking, this is mostly going to be the Aubrey show because we're going to be talking about foods that assist in detoxification. We've talked in the last couple of videos a lot about which foods mm -hmm. to avoid retoxification. And so we just want to remind people that um, you cannot expect to detoxify if you are retoxifying fat. And I do the alcohol maneuver because if you're, <laughs> you're uh, constantly retoxing, it's hard to detox. Yeah. And we don't just mean alcohol, I mean it with everything, whether it be um, exposed to molds or um, drinking Roundup or whatever it may be. So in this specific video, we're gonna be talking about foods to detoxify, but it's important to remember the other stuff from the first two videos must stop the retox yes. before you can detox. So with that being said, Aubrey, tell us all about foods for detoxification. Okay, so first thing, what, first thing that you do need to actually do, you need to do do whatever. Yeah, the first is thing. <laughs> the first thing is you just need to remove some of those toxic foods as well. So before you start, we talk about any of these foods. Just keep in mind you need to take out the fried pop food, pop tarts, <laughs> processed foods. Think of whole unadulterated foods: fresh fruit and vegetables, clean animal protein, healthy fats, avocados, clean oils. There's a bunch that goes into it. But what I want you to do is actually try to figure out. Okay, when? Well, let me rewind that. When you start eating healthier, you're going to start to detox regardless without doing any supplementation, Correct. without doing anything, because your body's really smart. We keep saying this, but we really do mean it. The second you start eating better, the second your body goes, oh, there's less circulating toxins, I'm going to start kind of pushing some stuff out from stores. Mm -hmm. And you start and to it does that little it dance, does, too. It does that. <laughs> you start to naturally detox itself. So when people say, I'm not doing anything, I just changed my diet, like, you're doing so much just by changing your food. Just by eliminating the toxic foods, you are changing the way that your body is able to detox. That's why people sometimes, even the practice, they just change nutrition. They're like, we're out. And I'm like, no, Peace. wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> we got more you to have do. like 10,000 mycotoxins in you. You got to come back. <laughs> um, but that, that's why. So the first thing is to get those, those circulating toxins out of your body. Second thing that you want to do is that when you actually start processing those toxins, so as you eliminate, you process, your liver's affected, most of your body, your kidneys, obviously, too, your lymphatic system, but mostly we your focus- Your everything system. Everything. But we mostly focus on the liver itself. And so instead of just taking supplements, which we'll talk about next, you can actually take foods that have natural detox and antioxidant components to them to help your body do that. Two of the biggest things that we really do like um, in foods or two detox components are alpha lipoic acid and glutathione. Thione. And a lot of people see these in supplements, but there's actually a lot of foods that have these in here. So as you're naturally getting healthier, you can eat different foods to help support phase one and phase two of your liver. Both different phases help with your body removing toxins and processing them and getting them out of the body efficiently. So and we do well i just want to re-emphasize what aubrey's already saying is that we do use a lot of supplements for detoxification mm -hmm. we do push for those we'll talk about that in the next video but we always overemphasize with our patients that you can't put garbage in and take supplements and think that's going to wash the slate clean you've got to put good nutrition that's 80 percent of the battle it is good nutrition first supplements are meant to supplement a good mm -hmm. diet not replace a bad diet yeah because like I said, if you're eating constantly toxic food, your body is not gonna wanna push out, even if you're taking supplements, it can try to push out those toxins from stores, but your body has a really smart way of blocking that. Mm -hmm. they, it knows that, hey, you know, there's processed glyphosate and other of the 30 different forms of it in my body right now. I don't really wanna push everything out from stores. So this is necessary for when you are doing detox, when you are doing supplements to help your body. So. And the nutrition part is also the cofactors needed in detoxification. Yeah. So there are supplements that can speed up a process, but that process requires B12, or requires mm -hmm. folate, and requires a whole lot more thing. than that. Those are just the, yeah. the obvious ones, right? So they get burnt in the process. So the supplement can only do so much from if you run out of the necessary components from food, then the supplement just doesn't do its job. Right, so this is crucial. But a lot of people go, okay, well, what foods are detoxifying? Ideally, if you're eating whole unadulterated foods and fresh fruits and veggies, those are naturally detoxifying. But I put together a little list of kind of which ones are gonna be the most important. So we will attach this somehow for yeah. people to see. So you'll, you're gonna get this. But what I wanted to kind of talk about is, ideally, what you wanna aim for is nine cups of leafy vegetables 
or leafy greens and vegetables. Nine cups. That's a lot. Nine cups. And that's whole cups though. So it's not just like blending up kale and putting it in a cup. Oh yeah. That's really difficult. That'd be really like difficult. 40 million cups. Yeah, exactly. So it, it's nine full cups. If you think of a big salad though, there's probably four cups of veggies in there. You know, think of a handful as a cup too and put three handfuls in there. Fourth one is some veggies on top. There's four cups already. So. Our goal is nine, at minimum six cups. If you can't make nine because you eat twice a day, I understand that. But the less you eat, the more nutrient dense you need to be. So if mm -hmm. you're eating one time a day, you better get 12 different veggies in there, some clean animal protein and fat. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little banana, I don't know, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, so, and they can be in raw form or cooked form regardless. Just measure the nine cups. Mm -hmm. So what and then we, obviously if you cook them and they reduce, then measure them as the uncooked, like yeah. spinach. We've all cooked a box of spinach and be like, really? That was like one, yeah. one and, bite. And that's a good way to do it too. So when you can cook them down, they're easier to eat. They shrink that's in size. Do. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That's great. You guys remember? Never mind. I will cook anything to shrink I know it down. salad greens one time. Yeah. I put cooked salad greens on my tacos. That's right. I was like, perfect. oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> um, okay, perfect. So some of the things that we want to focus on are foods and support for the liver and the brain. So like I said before, we're focusing on ALA and glutathione. They are master antioxidants. They protect against free radicals. ALA actually regenerates and recycles glutathione. Mm -hmm. Perfect. One other thing too is that it can increase the cellular uptake of cysteine, which is a limiting factor for glutathione. So this just helps another cofactor, another processing agent of this to help get it out of your body. Perfect example of how food is going to feed your detoxification pathways. Yes. So then the first things that are really in support of ALA and glutathione Organ meats are one of the biggest ones. So this is one of the things that I do say that people can take in a supplement form. Ancestral Supplements is really good at doing this. Um, cook your organ meats, blend them in, put them in with like your meatloaf, um, or take them in a pill. I don't like organ meats to eat them, so I'm not gonna be that nutritionist who's like, everyone can eat organ meats, because no one wants to eat a sauteed liver. I mean, some people do, but- to Yeah, if you can do it and you like it, by all means. Sure, it's then good. It's wonderful. But I'm not going to set that expectation for you. That's very unattainable. So if it's capsulated, that's fine. Um, broccoli, tomatoes, cabbage, spinach, a lot of these that contain also sulforaphane, which is very good. Into a superpower food. <laughs> superpower, right? Glutathione, avocado, asparagus, walnut, spinach, and okra. Avocado has the highest amount of glutathione. So for everyone right now who's on the avocado trend, mm -hmm. which has been for like five years, which I'm very thankful <laughs> for, eat your avocados. So those are gonna help support ALA and glutathione production, but now we wanna see how can we help modulate the liver, process these toxins and eliminate them. Dandelion, so the greens or the dandelion root tea. I know, Oof. they have dandy blend, which is like a coffee substitute. It doesn't take anything like coffee, but sometimes you can blend it with coffee. Um, dandelion greens are very, very bitter. So you're very really- Very bitter. If, but the you more bitter it is, the better it is. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it's tea, gonna make your bacon taste bad. So yeah, you I may know. not want to do that either. <laughs> the tea is an easy way to do it. So. Uh, the capsule is an easy way to do the it. Also, the capsule is an easy way. <laughs> Remember, you can always do capsules too. Beets. Beets actually roasted or whole or even pickled are really good. I mean, mm -hmm. you can roast beets and they taste like candy. So they do. those are one of my favorite. I love beets. Broccoli and broccoli spouts. This is where I was talking about sulforaphane. It's a potent, a potent a inducer. <laughs> it's so potent, it's potent. We've had a lot of caffeine this morning. <laughs> a phase two detox. Um, it combats oxidative stress. And then broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and cabbage are some of the most com uh, highest components of sulforaphane. They're potent and sulforaphane. <laughs> I'm a nutritionist, I don't speak very well, let's be honest. <laughs> Garlic, as always, it's really antimicrobial. Turmeric, glycine. So glycine is an amino acid, but you can find it in pasture-aged eggs or animal protein. This is where quality matters. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are, but the quality matters. Uh, real quick, I wanted to point out too that it's there's there's superfoods out there as far as like oh my gosh garlic is a superfood mm -hmm. and all this. It's important to remember that you have to balance superfoods with how much of that quantity you're going to eat. Right. So turmeric is a superfood, but it, in my opinion, is not very tasty. So I'm not going to eat a lot of it. Yeah. But I will eat a lot of broccoli. So even if broccoli is a little bit lesser of a superfood, although it is a superfood, I guess that's a bad example. You would eat a lot more broccoli than you would the turmeric root. So mm -hmm. another example is cinnamon is really really high on antioxidants. But that's something you're just going to sprinkle on food, not really eat cinnamon mm -hmm. sticks yeah. raw. So it's important to balance that, like what is a superfood and how much of that are you going to eat? Yeah, 
sprinkle it in. Just like a little bit, a little extra fentanyl can kill you, right? A little extra cinnamon can help your blood sugar and help you feel better. Okay, that's there's a comparison. Th there's potency, you know, obviously pharmaceutical. Potentency. There's potency and there's efficacy of things. And there's a symbiotic relationship of different foods that we can't quantify. So if you put a little bit of garlic in there, but you have other alliums like onions and sauteed, like even greens with a little bit of like pasture-raised pork, all those different components are gonna help each other be absorbed and maximize mm -hmm. in your body. So you don't need to eat 10 cloves of garlic a day, just put a fresh garlic clove in your food and they'll do its job. Yeah. So that was a really good point. So when we talk about veggies too, get a smattering of them, but don't don't take one of these. The biggest thing I hate- Don't make a garlic salad. Don't make, please don't make a It's easy if you, you like kind of eat it with two apple slices if you just wanted to eat it, but it's weird. Yeah, no, just cook it. Yeah, the biggest thing I want to, uh, to kind of harp on, which is my pet peeve, I do not like, I was gonna say hate, when people say, eat no, this second. one superfood for your brain, eat this one superfood to lose mm -hmm. weight, it doesn't work like that. You have to eat these all together mm -hmm. with a symbiotic relationship for them to maximize the potency and efficacy of it. And rotate. Yes, rotate. Don't just eat garlic every day. I mean, you can, but anyways, I'll, I digress. Uh huh. Artichokes are wonderful. We said this video wonderful. was going to be shorter. I know, but We're here, so like I'll just kind of talk. Okay, okay. Some <laughs> artichokes, singlet bile flow, berries, which is really good, helps in metabolizing procarcinogens. So also your liver processes toxins, but it also has a job of making toxic components less toxic in the body. Yes. Okay, very simple way of putting it. Um, so then I kind of break it down into phase one and phase two. You're looking at B vitamins. A lot of these B vitamins, magnesium, milk thistle even, well, that's mostly in supplement, but you can find it in some foods. Vitamin E, zinc, NAC, you'll see these in supplements, but they're in foods that we eat every single day of our life. Yep. Again, quality matters, right? But you're looking at asparagus and mustard greens and almond and pasture-raised eggs, sunflower seeds, which I already said that, you know, salmon. So. I want you to take this list and, and see how many foods you're eating this a day and which ones you can incorporate. If mm -hmm. you're having a salad every day, be like, yeah, I can add some wild caught salmon in there. Sure. Um, and another thing you can do if you're going to take the supplement, although we'll talk about that, and I guess in the next video is to, yeah. to, you don't need to take all of the supplements. You have a plan and say, I'm going to take these three or four that right. have a symbiotic relationship um, and then trade and take three or four different ones. But mm -hmm. don't feel like you have to take that whole list of supplements. Yeah. And yeah, same with foods, just do what you can. Um, again, very repetitive, but v B vitamins are one of the most important components of detox. They do, they impact energy levels, brain function, cellular metabolism, anything really that you can think of in this process. And we kind of call them kamikaze, like they're burned and used and then they're gone. Yeah. So you need to constantly replace them. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Um, beet greens, cabbage, spinach. See, you see a lot of repetitive, wild caught and sustainable fish, pasture raised organic eggs. Um, and then, of course, polyphenols to help with the brain and oxidative stress. So there so you what go. Are what are polyphenols? Where do people find polyphenols? Uh, fruits and veggies. Colorful ones, right? Colorful ones. So every different color of each different fruit and veggies have different phytonutrients, different polyphenols, different antioxidant components. So I actually have a list of all the different colors and what they have in there, too, which, again, is part of our course. But... Mm -hmm. um, things that you all eat on the daily basis, coffee, right? Yes, I know coffee, one person who eats sardines for breakfast, two That's people nasty. actually, I know, John John. But good for you. Um, coconut, cacao, chocolate, think of really dark, rich, unadulterated cacao with no cane sugar. Yeah, like, not the Snickers. It's, yeah, it's that, not a that doesn't count. <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically, a bunch of different veggies and fruits and animal proteins can help you detoxify. We'll put this list up here, but mm -hmm. just do the best that you can, Yes, to be honest. Keep it simple. And of course, we've put together our course. Go, yeah. go to our website to sign up for the course on detoxification, but mainly just nutrition. Nutrition is such a huge part of um, everything that we do or everything you need to do that if you just even just do the nutrition course, you've already made plenty of progress towards a, a future healthier you. Mm -hmm. So um, subscribe to our channel, like our, our videos, share it with your friends, and um, let's help detoxify everyone in this industrialized society. Kay. And we'll see you for our next video on supplements to detoxify. But notice that's the last one. Food, not retoxing and food are way more important mm -hmm. than supplements. So that should be a shorter video. We'll cool. see you next time. Okay.